On the workbench today, we have these Baofeng two-way radios. But whilst everybody is familiar with the normal Baofeng BF888S, these are the lesser known sub range, which is the Baofeng BF88E, and you also get a BF88A variant. Now, what is that? Well, basically, it's the same uh, Baofeng Triple Eight radio, or almost the same, but this one has been pre programmed for the region uh, that you work in. Now, for the case of E, which is of course Europe, you'll know that the European standard for two way radios is PMR446, and I'm going to show some more information about that now. And basically, this is a barfing radio that comes pre-programmed for those PMR frequencies out of the box. Now, compared with the normal BF888 box, which I have here, you can see this one is a lot taller. And it's a lot taller in this dimension as well, but it's a, sorry, it's a little, it's a thinner, the new box is taller. And it's not really as colorful, and it doesn't have any of these amazing, you know, functionum humanism design. This is rather just a two-tone, papery kind of box, but yeah, let's go... Uh, open this up and take a look. Now, I'm not really big on unboxing videos, but I thought I'm going to quickly just run through this so you can show you what you get in the box. Notice the radios come with the antennas already on. Get a paper manual, and I notice that this just immediately point, points to BF888S, even though it does say PMR beside. So you can tell there's a very close relation between these and the normal Valve Phone 888. So before we get to the accessories, let's look at the radio itself. You can see over here the base unit looks very familiar. This is very similar to the normal Baofeng 888. The one difference is when I remove the battery over here, what you'll see on the back is that they have printed quite clearly that this model over here is the BF88E and it's the PMR 446 megahertz radio, similarly to the top. And now if it was the Baofeng 888, of course it'd be for broad spectrum frequencies. These are just exactly the same hardware, pre-programmed, two tiny little stickers. Now, just for comparison, here's the regular BF888 side by side. So you can see over here, the hardware is exactly the same, but the two stickers are actually quite different. You know, the one is black with white font, the one is white with black font, which is quite surprising. But both made by our good friends, Baofeng Electron Company Limited. Another interesting difference as well, if you look at these two radios, front is identical, but what is different is the antennas. On the right, we've got the regular BF888, and on the left here, we've got the same version, but it seems to be a cut off at almost a slight angle over here. Now, for my layman's understanding of antennas, more is more. In this case, it does seem like a little bit less. So I don't know how, how this affects range. I actually haven't tested the range of these yet compared to our trusty Balfing, but I assume it's gonna be in a very, very similar range between the two. So that's definitely a, a small physical difference uh, apart from the stickers uh, on the back. Right, so let's delve into the box a little bit and see what you get. From an accessories perspective, you get exactly the same. So you do get this uh, little headset mic thrown into the box for you. And you also get the clips for all of the radios, which you can put on as well as the lanyard for all of the radios. And then you get the charger. Now here's where there's another interesting difference. Notice over here that whilst this cradle is exactly the same, these chargers on both the Valfang 88E and A models come with the USB charging. Now you can of course go on eBay and buy these separately. They cost very cheap. In the US they probably cost about three or four dollars US, very, very cheap. But these ones are already USB compared to the equivalent Balfang model, which you can see over here, which is the normal triple eight, which comes with the plug for your country. You now I'm in North America, even though I don't intend to use these radios here because they're not allowed to be used with those frequencies in this country. But there you can see here that the AC input for this is 110 to 240 volts. 50 hertz and with DC 5 volts output interesting that they even just call out 50 hertz even though what's coming out the walls here is 60 hertz and this one over here is exactly the same base so it even says 110 to 240 volts 50 hertz so obviously they're just using the same injection molded plastic for both of these two parts and even this strain relief looks almost exactly the same but where this is a normal very cheapo power cable over here this is just a nice round USB cable so that's a difference there as well. So right, so there in a nutshell is the two radios. Um, basically, this, is, this subset is, just seems to be a slightly streamlined packaging, but effectively the same hardware. And all that you're getting is a radio pre-programmed for a different set of frequencies. In this case, PMR446, which are the European frequencies, or you can similarly get 
the BF88A, which comes pre-programmed for the FMRS slash GRS, or what's the GMRS slash FRS, North American frequencies, which anyway, any of the Balfang triple eights can do all of those frequencies. You just need to program them yourselves with the Chirp software. So that's a quick overview, and I thought you might find that interesting. Thank you.